What's going on, guys? It's New York Prepper here. It is Sunday, April 18th, 2021, and I have another breaking news alert to share with you guys on the situation in Ukraine. And what you're looking at here is the flight path of another British reconnaissance plane that flew all the way to the Kerch Strait last night. And you can see the flight path here. This is a real-time flight path. So this plane is about to land in Waddington Air Base in uh, Britain, on the eastern side of Britain. And this is an RC-135 rivet joint. And I've done videos on this plane before. Um, this is the third trip that this plane has made in the last week to Crimea, okay? So this is the third time this RC-135 rivet joint from Waddington Air Base has flown to Crimea in the last week, okay? Um, and the RC-135 rivet joint is a very advanced reconnaissance plane. It's worth uh, over $100 million. It's designed for signals intelligence. It can intercept all types of electronic signals and um, it can be used for eavesdropping and also it can be used for geolocation of signals to locate where the signals originate from so it's a very powerful piece of equipment and again this is the third trip in the last week that this particular plane has taken to crimea and so you can see the flight path here in blue um, it flew over Germany, Poland, Ukraine, and then it went down into the Black Sea. It went down and around the Crimean Peninsula, and it stopped near the Kerch Strait, and it looped around and came back, okay? And while it was flying around the Kerch Strait and around the Crimean Peninsula, it was picking up all kinds of different signals that the Russian military might be uh, emitting from their uh, military equipment, okay? So uh, that's pretty significant. You know, they keep sending these reconnaissance planes out. Um, and then we also have another RQ-4 Global Hawk that's been deployed to eastern Ukraine. And it seems to me like these RQ-4 Global Hawks are running 24-7. And the last... Global Hawk was the the one right before this one that was deployed was named the Forte 10 and this one is the Forte 11 that's the uh, uh, call sign okay or the abbreviation that's the tag of this particular plane and you can see it's flying loops over eastern Ukraine here right outside of Donetsk and Luhysk okay it's it flew within the within 10 miles of the Russian border here, okay, just like the Forte 10, which was the previous Global Hawk, it also flew within 10 miles. It pretty much had the same flight path as this one. And the RQ-4 Global Hawk, if you guys don't know what that is, that's a global uh, reconnaissance drone. It's fully unmanned. It has a range of 14,000 miles and can stay in the air for 32 hours or more. So it's a very advanced high altitude reconnaissance drone. It can fly up to 60,000 feet and it's designed to replace the U-2 spy plane or it was designed to replace the U-2 spy plane. Um, so this is just basically a spy plane, guys. This is a, a spy plane uh, fulfilling the same role as the U-2 did during the Cold War, except it's unmanned. It has a longer range. It can fly 14,000 miles without refueling. And you can see here it did some loops uh, outside of the Crimean Peninsula. It flew up near the Kerch Strait here, and it did a loop right outside of Sochi. Okay, but it flew quite a bit around the Crimean Peninsula here. You can see that it, it flew uh, a few different loops here uh, around the Odessa area. This is uh, Moldova over here, and it looks like it did a few loops right outside of Moldova. And 
I suspect the reason why it was doing a loop down here um, near Moldova and Odessa is because this is the area known as Transnistria, which is a breakaway region of Moldova uh, right next to Ukraine. It's a thin strip of land here, and um, it, it's a separatist-controlled area that's backed by Russia, and there was some word that Russia transported military equipment into Transnistria for the purposes of uh, moving the equipment into Odessa and southern Ukraine during a military offensive, okay? Um, so they're using possibly Transnistria as a staging area for an offensive into southern Ukraine and the Odessa area. Um, so maybe that's why this drone was circling over here. But you could see it made a few passes around the Crimean Peninsula. It flew up to the Kerch Strait. It went all the way to Sochi and came back. And then it went up here into eastern Ukraine. And the past couple of hours, you can see it's been making multiple loops here in eastern Ukraine, right outside of Donetsk and Luhaisk. These are the separatist controlled areas here. Okay, this is uh, the Donetsk People's Republic and the Luhaisk People's Republic. These two provinces here are controlled by Russian separatists. And so obviously the U.S. military wants to gather information on any kind of uh, Russian military positions in Donetsk and Luhaisk. And this is just basically a spy plane. Um, again, it, it can fly 14,000 miles, so this thing can be circling in this area all day if it wants to, um, and they can take very high-quality pictures, uh, electro-optical and infrared pictures. Um, it also has a signals intelligence uh, sensors that they can pick up signals similar to the RC-135 rivet joint, but not as complex and not as advanced, but it can pick up signals and uh, inter intercept them, eavesdrop on them. So it's a very uh, capable spy drone, okay? And it's one of the premier drones that the US military uses for reconnaissance purposes. And um, so I think this is pretty significant. It seems like these uh, reconnaissance planes are now starting to run 24-7. They're having 24-hour coverage of these areas in eastern Ukraine and southern Ukraine, Crimea. Um, you know, whether it's the RQ-4 Global Hawk or the RC-135 Rivet Joint out of Britain, it seems like Britain and the United States are attempting to provide full coverage over this area um, and provide full reconnaissance coverage around the clock. And so <clears throat> what that tells me is that they're expecting some type of an offensive soon. Um, they're expecting maybe Russia to invade and take over Donetsk and Luhaisk, okay? Um, and they're trying to gather intelligence to see where their positions are. So it's a very serious situation here, guys. Um, they would not be running these drones around the clock if they weren't con seriously concerned about something happening. But I'm going to keep an eye on these uh, planes for you guys. And if there's any more breaking news, I'll update you. Um, otherwise, I hope you guys have a great Sunday. Um, happy Jesus Day. And as always, take care. God bless. And don't forget the four Ps. Pray, prepare, prepare practice and persevere.